Hello again gamers, welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Captain and today I'm going to be doing a top 10 countdown. This is my top 10 games to play on Halloween. So um, now this is a bit of a kind of arbitrary list. This is the top 10 game games that I would like to play on Halloween. They generally have a, a, a feel that matches the feel of Halloween to me or kind of a horror theme or something of that sort. It's not strictly speaking a top 10 horror theme list, it's just the top 10 games that for one reason or another feel to me like they're good for Halloween. Now, Lynn did do a top 10 horror games list a uh, couple years ago. I'll put a link up above if you want to check that out. And it's just like a little added arbitrary rule to myself. I decided to rewatch that list and not use any of the games she picked. There actually are a couple she picked that might have made my list otherwise. Um, but I wanted to make this a completely different list than that, so I chose not to use any of those. So that's really it. That's only the intro I'm going to give. And without uh, any other ado, I'm going to get into it with my number 10. Number 10. Okay, so my number 10 game to play on Halloween is a fairly light one, and it's an older one, but it is a goodie. It is King of Tokyo. So King of Tokyo is a fairly light, press-your-luck dice game where you're throwing dice around and, and playing as giant monsters trying to fight it out for Tokyo. This is a great game to play while trick-or-treaters are coming to the door. It's got a light horror theme while still being campy and fun, so it feels like it really goes well with Halloween and and then on top of that you know it, it's it's a game that you can just stop at any time you can just be like oh hold on uh I'm, I haven't decided if I'm gonna push my luck uh on this dice roll again or not but I gotta give out some candy and that makes it a really great game to play on, Hall on Halloween I still have the first edition I know they came out with the second one but I also had the the Halloween expansion pack for the first edition which is really great and came with a giant monster with a jack-o-lantern head and I love that uh, but yeah, King of Tokyo is a really fun press your luck dice game, and I think it holds up, and that's why it's my number 10 favorite game for Halloween. Number 9. My number 9 favorite game for Halloween is Carnival of Monsters. So Carnival of Monsters is this fantastic game where you are... Uh, obtaining monsters from the wilds and putting them into a zoo type situation to make your carnival of monsters so people can come of, come and see them and similarly to king of tokyo this again it's got monsters it's got uh, a fun light theme it's got a lot of dice rolling this is a really just great game to literally be playing at your dining room table uh that you can easily get up from to give out candy to trick-or-treaters on halloween uh it is a, a great beer and pretzels game it's a lot of fun i've never had a bad time playing carnival of monsters and it's it's just yeah it just the feel of it the the light-hearted fun feel the the the, the a ton of monsters that you're collecting and putting out in front of you really just kind of feels halloween to me so i really get a kick out of that and that is why carnival of monsters made it to my number nine on my top 10 favorite Halloween games. Number eight. My number eight is another very lighthearted but monster-filled themed game. It is Secret Unknown Stuff Escape from Dulce. So this is an adventure game. It's kind of like a dungeon crawler uh, where it's cooperative. You and some other weird scientific experiments and, and creatures go fighting through aliens and mutants and monsters and picking up other weird um, experimental creatures like the Goat Boy or, or the Mothman or, or Bigfoot to help you escape from this secret uh, government base called Dulce Base. Again, it's got a rubber mask Halloween kind of feel to it um, where, where I just, I love it. It's lighthearted. It's, it feels like costumes and candy as a board game and i love that this one's a bit more advanced than the other two there's a bit more going on but if it's not your turn again very easy to get up and give out candy while someone else takes their turn at the table this game has an awesome table presence i love setting it up um the giant three-dimensional tower uh the main game is huge and will take you all night but there are smaller like self-contained missions that i prefer to play and i that is what I, the way i would do it i'd play one of the self-contained missions um to play on halloween and there you have it that is secret unknown stuff escape from dulce which is my number eight favorite game to play on halloween number seven 
My number seven favorite game to play on Halloween is another kaiju game. This is a new one. Uh, Lynn and I picked this up fairly recently. I'm a big fan of all the old kaiju movies. This is the new Godzilla board game that came out um, from uh, Prospero Hall, which is the, the design team over at Funko Games. Uh, this is a really cool game. They, they fit a ton of the old school uh, monsters in there. They have four different monsters. Um, one weird choice in that they, they took Megalodon rather than um, one of the more common monsters from the old Godzilla movies. But you got some really good ones there in Mothra. You have Godzilla and um, you have uh, King Ghidorah. Now don't get me wrong, I do like Megalodon, but he only appeared in one movie. So he seems like a weird choice. That said, it's a really cool game. And it's one of my favorite kaiju games for just like running into the city and beating up other monsters. Uh, it really kind of captures that giant monster fight for me. And the giant monster fights, because in all the old movies, they were done, you know, with, uh, I think they called it pseudimation, basically where people were literally wearing giant rubber suits, giant costumes. It totally feels like Halloween to me, because anything about those old Godzilla movies feels halloween to me, because they're guys in costumes having fun and, and playing the parts. So yeah, so that is why number seven is the Godzilla board game uh, from Funko Games. Number six. My number six favorite game to play on Halloween is a game based on an anime and manga. It is Death Note Confrontation. So this is uh, obviously a, a, a storyline that had a bit of a kind of horror sort of thriller theme to it. You have supernatural creatures, but they're not not totally the focal point of it it's really about this battle of wits it's kind of a deduction game that it, that very much captures the battle of wits from the anime and manga but it also does have that creepy feeling especially because uh one of the characters is basically a serial killer um kira is killing all of the world's criminals while the the mastermind the master detective l has to figure out who kira is to put a stop to him not knowing how he's doing it because Kira is using supernatural means that he did gain from uh, a supernatural creature, Ryuk, who is a Shinigami, which is basically like an angel of death. Uh, this is a really cool game. I love this game a lot. Uh, and it is definitely a great game to play on Halloween. I've actually played this game on Halloween with Lynn and I sitting at the table while occasionally taking breaks to uh, give candy out to trick-or-treaters. So that is my number six Favorite game for Halloween, Death Note Confrontation. Number five. My number five game on my list is another one that has actually been played on Halloween by me. This one is Adventure Games Monochrome Inc. So the Adventure Games uh, are a series of games done by um, uh, Thames and Cosmos. And it's kind of like a sequel series to their Exit the Game series. It's definitely, in, uh, they're, they're, they're not quite escape room games. They're more like inspired by the old uh, adventure point and click video games. Uh, and this one definitely has kind of a creepy sci-fi horror theme to it. It definitely feels very creepy and I really dig it. It feels like you are, ex it, it, you are uh, working your way through kind of a horror movie. Um, and I dig that. Uh, yeah, Adventure Games Monochrome Inc. is my favorite of the Adventure Games I've played so far. I really like it. And that is why it made it down to my number five favorite Halloween game. Number four. My number four favorite Halloween game is a game called Multi Universum, which definitely feels like it got its theme from uh, certain sci-fi and horror TV shows and movies, uh, including, for instance, Stranger Things, because you're trying to close these gateways that the scientists have accidentally opened to other worlds, which some of which are, are very dangerous and full of monsters and, and, and creepy things. So it feels like, you know, the hole to the upside down in Stranger Things. Uh, but it also feels like The Mist by Stephen King, which is also a fantastic movie to watch on Halloween. Um, really, really cool. Probably one of the best Stephen King adaptation horror movies ever is The Mist. Um, 
yeah, I love multi-universal. Multi-universal is really cool. It has that feel. It feels like that. It feels creepy. It feels cool. But it also is just a really, really great game. I mean, I'm not ordering these in my list by how much I like them. I'm ordering them by how much I feel they fit the 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 feeling of the holiday of Halloween. But this also happens to be a game I like quite a bit. I like all the games on this list. Uh, I at least there are all at least seven out of ten for me in regard to how much I would rate them. But this is yeah, this is a really cool game. I like it a lot, and it really fits the 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 feel of the holiday for me. And that is why Multi Universum made it all the way down to my number four favorite Halloween game. Number three. My next game on my list uh, is another movie that really feels like you're inside of a horror movie. Uh, any any horror movie, uh, it, it feels like, like a, a generally speaking, like a horror movie. It's not a specific horror movie, but it is Grindhouse. And Grindhouse even has a name that makes you think of a horror movie. Uh, there's a ton of horror movies that this definitely takes inspiration from for the various characters as well as the various things that happen. But it is a game where you draw cards and, and you and the other players are trying to work your way through this, this house of horrors and not get killed as you get injured. You have to injure parts of your body and if you lose... Uh, your head or your torso, you're dead, but you can still play as a ghost to try to sabotage the other players and uh, find certain, because uh, there'll be certain ways that as a ghost player you can still win. Uh, this is a really, really fun game. Super thematic, super fast, and the kind of game that you can play two or three times on Halloween because you could just you can slam out one of these really quick and then just play again. Uh, Grindhouse really fits the holiday of Halloween. And that is why Grindhouse is my number three favorite game to play on Halloween. Number two. My number two game on my list is a game that I... Uh, played once because playing it you have to destroy the components unfortunately i don't generally put escape room games on my list because of that because replayability is so low however if you have never played this game and you're looking for a great gaming experience for halloween this is one that would be an awesome gaming experience for halloween and it is exit the game the haunted roller coaster i love the haunted roller coaster it's one of it's up there as probably one of my top five favorite exit the games i've played i've played quite a few of them and I absolutely adore this one, and it's got a light-hearted, spooky, haunted ghost story feel to it. I really dug it. I loved the puzzles, and I love the little prize you got at the end. Uh, Exit the Game, The Haunted Roller Coaster. If you have not played it, I definitely recommend it, uh, either on Halloween or just on any given spooky night where you'd like to buy a cool escape room game and play it with your friends or loved ones. Exit the Game, The Haunted Roller Coaster is my number two. Favorite game to play on Halloween. And now it is time for number one. Okay. My number one. I could not resist. I had to put this as my number one because, uh, again, I was ordering these games not by how much I liked them. This isn't my favorite of my the games on my list. But by how much they fit the holiday for me. How much they really evoked the feeling of Halloween for me. And no game in my collection evokes the feeling of Halloween better than Halloween. Uh, so this is a game where you summon up ghosts and you scare people in order to get points and build up the ghosts and, and turn them into bigger ghosts and more powerful ghosts. Um, you are literally sending ghosts around on Halloween to scare people. This And, and the game itself is named Halloween. It is the most thematically Halloween game I have ever played. Um, so yeah, there was no doubt when I was making this list that this was going to be on my list and could possibly be my number one. And then when I was going through the games, I was like, yeah, nothing, nothing screams Halloween more than the board game of Halloween. Uh, so yeah, so it had to make it down to my number one. Uh, again, both for the name and for the theme and the feel of the game, because it, it, it's Halloween night and you are, you are a demon lord summoning ghosts to go scare people on Halloween. You get getting those scares is how you win. This game is great. And uh, on top of that, it is a really, really good game. I really enjoy it. Um, and that's it. And that is my number one favorite game to play on Halloween. So let me know in the comments down below. What are your favorite spooktacular games to play on Halloween? And if you enjoyed this top 10 list and you'd like to see me do more like it in the future, be sure to give it a like. 
Share it on all forms of social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to The Board Game Captain. That is Captain spelled with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game on.